What's up, YouTube? I want a turtle here coming, and we have Brilliant Stars, the newest sets, and um, yeah, it's a lot of fun to open. We're gonna be cracking this box for my Patreon and good friend Ty. Ty, thanks for letting me open this on your behalf. And actually, at the end of the video, uh, shout out to Rich Omega. I've been meaning to open this for you, a Evolving Skies ETB. Uh, just didn't have anything else to open. Figure it wouldn't be enough for a video, so we're gonna do that at the end. Uh, but we're going to start with the booster box, of course, and just to quickly show you, I did open a box for myself uh, with my girlfriend, and it was a lot of fun. We got some, a lot of good cards. We did get the Arceus Alt Art and the Umbreon VMAX. So really happy with it, and just like the raw number of hits, uh, there's a lot to talk about, And but let's get into the box first. Ty, best of luck, and alright, so what are thoughts on the sets? It's great. Um, a lot of fun. I guess we're looking at the box right now. The box is just okay. Uh, the pack arts, they look very different. So I'm not crazy about them, but I do like the Charizard pack art. Um, I actually can't remember if they have an actual card with the similar art, but the pack art looks great. But um, yeah, a lot of fun bringing back the character rares. I feel like the... I imagine there's gonna be a lot more excitement around this set compared to what I perceived as far as the excitement during Cosmic Eclipse. Uh, you know, their first pass at uh, character rares. Um, but this one I think is going to be, you know, even more so. All right, first pack, we got like the Buzz. We're gonna talk, be talking about the art a little bit um, as we get into the box. More and more of these gloves. And uh, so, you know, the art, a lot of them, I feel like they're different, but I'm not crazy about them. Uh, they feel, it, it sounds weird to say this, but they feel very cartoony. <laughs> As uh, for, for these Pokemon cards. But uh, hopefully we'll hit some good examples. And then they have a lot of these like very, they very look much, they very much look like, uh, I don't know, like they could have been done with like crayon or something. Uh, which, you know, sometimes it works. I feel like a lot of them, it doesn't do much for me. Instead of energy, you got these V-Star cards, which I actually don't mind. I mean, you know, something that I don't think we really need much more of is more <laughs> energy. Here's that Charizard pack art. Um, I think I pulled the regular Charizard V so far, just that. Uh, but I really like that art. Can't remember if that's, is the rainbow one? Is that what the V-Star rainbow one looks like? Cub Chew, always cute. All right, here's another one of those just drawing cards of Farfetch'd. Uh, it's very unique, just doesn't do a lot for me. Collapse Stadium into a Wormadan. So, uh, no hits yet. Uh, we got these new energy, not crazy about it myself. A couple uncommons right there. But uh, yeah, so I think, you know, my box, I think it had like 14 cards that I considered hits. Uh, basically anything like ultra rare better. Uh, we got some of these clay, clay cards, the clay arts, which I was never a fan of. Oh, all right, first character rare. And now they have like a different numbering. So what is this? One G08, TG08. I'm not sure what TG is, but this is eight of 30. Al Creme, what the, was a cafe owner? And I love that they, they occupy the reverse slot. Just make some, for some really loaded packs. All right, let's take a look at centering. Um, oftentimes I feel like this, for the first print wave uh, does have some issues. I feel like the centering isn't bad, but uh, they're not like, I don't know, it's almost like there's like additional cardboard at the top, I'll call it. Um, let's grab a sleeve for you. Hit number one in the box. So, really happy with this set, and I feel like the last handful of sets have just been very good since uh, Evolving Skies. Just, uh, you know, uh, really good set after real good set. Actually, Chilling Rain too. Chilling Rain, I feel like it's underappreciated. Okay, Electivire for the rare. But I kind of want to talk about like, there's a number of topics they hit. <laughs> But first we'll hit, um, you know, what I'm hoping, my own personal thoughts are like, you know, about the future. Uh, and, you know, I feel like this set is really well done, but keep it, you know, it's 
fresh or even though it's not new but you know it's refreshing to get these character rares again and like let's keep the character rares a very refreshing thing and not overplay it oh we got our first v card in a grimble yeah hey, that's pretty good for art and so let's not overdo it. You know, I, I almost feel like the Alton Arts are great. The Evolutions lately are great, but I'm wondering, are we overdoing it? We got all the stuff from Evolving Skies and now this one has more Evolution Alt Arts. And it's like, all right, maybe we pump the brakes on the Evolutions, like actually keep this set special, keep the Evolution special by not overdoing it. Uh, and I feel like an example of that is, you know, probably still my favorite modern set was Hidden Fates. Just like, it was just, you know, so refreshing to start chasing these shinies. And then in my opinion, not, uh, there was not a long enough break in between Hidden Fates and Shining Fates. And like, I don't know, Shining Fates, which is getting reprinted, um, wasn't that popular considering those shinies. I think it was just, you know, there's too many shinies with all these uh, Pokemon that, you know, it just didn't feel special. We got our first full art in Luminion. Not bad. Cute little fish. And if you just take a look, um, you know, how people are valuing the cards, uh, shout out to Richard Mega, who we're going to be opening the ETB for later. Take a quick look at Centering. Centering? Not perfect. You know, I think he recently completed his Shiny Vault set for Shiny Fates, and it's like, uh, and, and he was well covered on the Charizard already. But it's so cheap, which is actually perfect. You know, I think that's the perfect thing to do uh, because, you know, down the road or I don't know, maybe a long time. But either way, like, it's cool to complete the set. And they're so cheap. Um, and, like, just the, the fact that these are getting reprinted again, like the ETBs, uh, you know, it, I guess, maybe they're going to go even lower. But, um, you know, I feel like they overdid it on the shinies and then they just weren't that popular. And I don't want to see the same thing with the cards in this set. So like, you know, evolution, everyone loves evolutions, but let's, let's pump the brakes on it. Let's not overdo it and keep the special things special by not making, you know, when, when everything is special, nothing is special kind of idea. All right, so far we got three hits, nothing too exciting. Um, I think it's like maybe like three or so character rares. And uh, obviously we're hoping for more than one Seeker Rare, but let's just get the first one out of the way. Uh, so we don't get that zero. It's always so, uh, so brutal. Star, Staravia. All right, we got a Mimikyu V Max. Um, actually Mimikyu is not a very complicated, uh, like, Pokemon as far as like, you know, it doesn't have many like limbs or anything. So I, while this art looks very familiar, you know, there's not much you can do with uh, Mimikyu, I suppose. I think there's an Entei card uh, that someone posted in the discard. It's like, oh, I feel like I've seen that art before. But then, um, you know, Entei, you know, not too many poses he can take. That always bugs me when I feel like the art is recycled. Which is another reason why character rares just so refreshing. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys' thought is on art. Here's another cartoony art. You know, it's it's different, so I can appreciate that, but you know, not my favorite. Doesn't do much for me. A Flygon. Into Ooh, okay. So, you know, this feels very I don't know, I guess hand I'm not sure what, but like it feels very like drawn. I don't know how to describe it, but I really like this one. That's cool. It seems like everything's about Arceus these days. So Arceus it's never, I think, uh, you know, during my, whatever, 10, 15 year I hate this from Pokemon, that was when Arceus first got introduced, uh, so he doesn't do a whole lot for me. Spirit Tomb, a Duskull, that's not bad, into a Muck. Oh, one of the cards I pulled out of my box was the Honchkrow alt art. That was really well done, like, I, I don't care for Honchkrow, but uh, that one was... I do like that card. Happy I pulled it. Arbuzel, Gibble, Pinch, Execute. There's that Cafe Master. Into a Clee Fable. So slow start. So we should have a jam-packed 
um, the rest of the box. Second half should be fire. And once again, huge shout out to Ty. Thanks for being a patron and thanks for allowing me to open this on your behalf. The set is just so much fun. Dusk Noir. Oh, I like his pose. What is he holding? I can't tell what that is. But that is a pretty cool character rare. Uh, one thing I'll, I will kind of mention, I, I feel like I haven't looked, I don't, uh, during like, uh, spoiler when, you know, they, these cards come out in Japanese, um, I try not to pay too close attention, so this is more of a, uh, you know, fresh experience for me, is, so if we think about the character rares from Cosmic Eclipse, there were a couple that were so unique, you know, even like the Pikachu, um, with red, like, the art just was a little bit different. Uh, I'm not sure how to describe it. Like, Red almost felt like uh, his proportions were almost like the like the Game Boy, <laughs> the Game Boy character. And then there's the the coughing with Roxy, and I really like that card. Uh, coughing often has like this like kind of like shell shaded art style, and I'm hoping that there are different uh, character rares that have that very different sense of the artistic style. Uh, one of the ones, definitely the one I was most happy about, was like the uh, Umbreon. Um, ooh, okay, this is, alright, and here we go, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, uh, oh, oh, and it's Primate Wisdom, uh, so, you know, I think, I think Oringuru, he had, like, a gold rare, and, you know, these, these, these playable cards, I think this is, this is the way to go, you know, just V, V Max, V Star, they should not be the only things getting these, these crazy arts, um, but I love the idea of making very playable cards, uh, for, you know, it makes, brings a new level of swag that you can add to your, your competitive decks and stuff like that. And uh, right on cue, here's a very unique character rare card. Orang Guru, I don't even, I don't know, this is not stained glass, but the, the, the way that they did the colors uh, somewhat reminds me of that. Okay, three character rares, no seeker rare, two uh, like textured V cards. So, we still have over half the box. What is that? Five? So, we should be hitting, again, I think mine, I sleeved up 14 cards. So, definitely have a lot, a lot more to offer. Ente V. Take it. Yeah, I guess that one looked unique. I think it was the Raikou that looked very... I think I said Entei. Might have meant Raikou. His, like, his pose feels very familiar to a previous set. Alright, I think we can start speeding up. There's that really weird Farfetch fresh water. <laughs> Some fresh water bottles. And then a Ormadin. Alright, so if you have... Uh, tell me what your experience with building stars is. Um, are you still waiting on yours? Uh, and if you have opened some, tell me how your pulls have been. Um, you know, I think definitely my preferred route is via booster box. And uh, so far, uh, from results I've seen in the Discord server and uh, just my own experience, ooh, ton of fun to open. I definitely think this uh, is going to be one of the more popular sets. Obviously, it features a Zard as well. Dust Clops. Ooh, what do we got here? Whimsicott V Star. You know, uh, I don't. Did I even pull a V Star? Like, I didn't realize when I saw this border, I was thinking a uh, supporter or something, just because this this uh, silver border threw me off. We got Whims Whimsicott V Star. Let's just take a quick look. During your opponent's next turn, they can't play any tool or special energy. Okay. This act does 60 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for each energy attached to this Pokemon. Okay, that can do quite a bit of damage. Alright, take a look at centering. This one actually looks pretty good. Alright, not the V-Star we're looking for, but happy to take it. And let's just do a quick count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And just in comparison, you know... Eight used to be like a point, a number where it's like, all right, we're already at eight. There might not be too much left in this box, but not the case for this set. Ooh, Eskew. I think that's one of my favorite things. And uh, 
probably why one of the reasons, one of the many reasons I loved Hidden Fates was it's the, the reverse lot has stuff. I think, was that, was that the same for Amazing Rares? All right, are we done with that phase of the, already? Mag Mortar. Uh, I feel like, uh, yeah, these, I feel like those two are often kind of like seen as, use the word rivals, I'm not sure if rivals is the right word. All right, a Crawdont into a Grimmsnarl. This Grimmsnarl, oh. Shining Fates, I feel like very similar pose. The Oni, the Oni art. All right, Snow Runt, that also looks familiar, but again, Snow Runt, <laughs> can't do too many poses. All right, I think we got a V in here. We got a Magmar, reverse, ah, into a Zerud. Zerud is a Pokemon that, uh, it's one of those ones that, uh, it's always kind of meh for me. We got a turtle and Torkoal. All right, so still looking for some really big hits out of this box. Show me a Charizard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Maybe over a quarter of the box left. All right, at this point, let's get that Seeker Rare out of the way. Cynthia's Ambition. Oh, is there a full art, Cynthia? I'm not sure what that looks like. Roseanne's backup. I have no idea who Roseanne is. All right, so this video is probably gonna be a little bit on the lengthy side. If you've made it this far, appreciate appreciate you checking out the video. As always, liking and subscribing does help the channel. There's that really cool Mewtwo. Hmm, you know, if if uh, if there was like the next Mewtwo V, um, I don't know, if there was like a full art of this kind of this this picture, that would look great. Barry, what these draw draw three supporters? I feel like uh, that's a if you have like a specific trainer in a game that you liked, and then I feel like the the T Pokemon TCG way of giving you the the smack in the face is I right, just give them draw three cards. <laughs> like oh, that's all I get. Nose pass into a Bibar. Okay, it's different art. Not crazy about it, but it's different. That Charizard pack art. But yeah, overall, like, yeah, I feel like they've been doing good with the recent sets, but just keep mixing it up. Don't, don't overdo anything. All the arts are refreshing, step away from, you know, like, uh, gold was cool, like, you know, rainbow, it feels very overdone, uh, gold is still, actually, I got, a, like, a gold, um, Shifu, and it felt very, like, eh, okay, we'll take it. So, gold feels like it's less novel at this point, and, uh, all are great. Lucian's great, just don't, don't saturate it too much, I think that's my point. Alright, Axu, into Alcreme. Oh, let's talk about PSA. Um, PSA, I think I think they're starting to have some stuff. But I think you have to go to an event for like fifty dollars. They have the hundred dollars slot, uh, so still no real plans to submit more stuff to e t uh, PSA. Uh, I should be getting some TGA cards back very soon. Didn't submit too many, and I still have hundreds and hundreds of cards at PSA. I think hopefully in another month they start coming in and I feel like it's just gonna be like, uh, because I just sent like a bunch of submissions all in one box. So soon there should be a huge wave of PSA cards coming back to me. All right, cast form into, I think we got something. Come on, all right, what is this? Ah, oh, just a V. There's that Mimic, oh my gosh, this looks so familiar. Again, Mimikyu maybe always has similar pose. V star card, pot helmet. Girlfriend laughed when she she had that card. I was like, I got a pot helmet. All right. Oh, only three packs. Okay. All right. Secret rare. 
No secret rare yet. We need to clutch up and pull <laughs> at least one. All right, Roseanne. Ah, Car Chomp. All right, Ty, getting nervous. Uh, I wish we had a Charizard pack card to wrap it up. And quick count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so we are in the double digits, but nothing too crazy. Oh, just another Mewtwo. All right, down to the last one. All right, come on. We need this. Me too. Come on. Oof. All right. Pretty rough box. No secret rare. Uh, character rares. I feel like we did okay. I like the Orang Guru. Elkrame is okay. Uh, I don't even remember what the third one was. Oh, was it? Oh, Dust Noir. Dust Noir wasn't bad. All right, we got Alcreme, Zarude, Oranguru, Mimikyu, Whimsicott V-Star, Dust Noir, Mimikyu again, Luminion, and a Gramble. I'm gonna grab something for extra for Ty. Be right back. All right, Ty, grab some extra stuff for you. There are some alt arts in all both of these sets. See if we can't uh, fill in that secret rare slot for you. Glade. Ooh, all right, Santa kind of. Didn't come up empty-handed. Out of the redemption packs. I honestly don't remember what is the big hit from Chilling Rain. <laughs> Weezing Doug Trio. Alright, last one. Evolving Skies. Then we still got eight more packs for Richard Omega of Evolving Skies. Ooh, we got something. What's that? It's, it's full art supporter. Come on, be something good. Make up for that that box. Oh, <laughs> Gordy, I'm getting flashbacks to oh Eevee Heroes. Oh my gosh, I think I pulled like no no no, it was the the flower girl. That's who it was. Um, Gordy, I pulled Gordy for someone. It was a little disappointing. We pulled like I think a rainbow Gordy. <laughs> uh, all right, Ty, appreciate it as always. Um, yeah, probably not the definitely, you know. Probably not super strong on the uh, on the box, but appreciate you as always. And Richard Omega, let's get to your Evolving Skies ETB. All right, uh, Richard Omega requested a Jolteon ETB, so here we go. I'm not sure if I actually opened any of these ETBs yet. But, you know, as far as, like, the the best, you know, modern, modern set in you know, the last year or so, um, you know, I feel like probably be Brilliant Stars and then Evolving Skies. Although I did like Fusion Strike, did like Chilling Rain. Let's see packs. All right, Richard Omega, good luck. Here we go. Pack number one. This is a pack variation where it feels like there's, like, a, not a lot of air, but there's a lot of excess space. The, the bag is, the pack is... Baggy, if that makes sense. Loot Town. Ooh, what is this? Oh, this is Gordy again. <laughs> Zerua. Oh, Zinnia's Resolve. Okay. <laughs> it's not Gordy, so I'm happy with that. Uh, that's that's a pretty cool uh, Zinnia, I have to admit. Replace Garden of the Cards in your draw until for each opponent's. Okay. Oh, Aroma Lady. That is the. Uh, my nemesis from uh, Eevee Heroes. Oof, Roman Lady. Pulled her twice. It's ridiculous. All right, Moon and Sun Badge into a Reggie, Reggie Alecki. All right, I'm glad we got a hit already and as a full art supporter, these ETBs can be brutal. Feast or famine usually. Or this rare case, it's possible we get something in between. Eevee. Oh, well, let me, uh, I gotta sleep up that Zinnia. Into a pincer. Take a look at centering. Hmm, not bad. Actually, very nice. Very nice looking card. 
I think I'm pretty sure I've seen like the rainbow zinnia and this is probably or one of many examples where like in my opinion the full art is just a lot better um, than the rainbow one and uh, so I was lucky enough to pull a Marnie from uh, my brilliant stars uh, pack and I'm not sure if there's a rainbow version but uh, if there is um, I might be likely happier with the full art variety all right was this halfway through Ooh, not sure what that was. It was a lot of blue. It actually reminded me when I first saw it, I thought of um, one of the Pikachu V Max from Celebrations, which obviously is not in here. Uh, blue, there's no Vaporeon. The Vaporeon Alt Art we already is in the promo. Ah, oh, Gyarados V Max. Okay, two hits out of ETB. Very nice. Didn't remember everything that was in this set. And we got a Gyarados. You. Also pretty good. Alright. A few more packs left. Which go mega. Shout out to you. And thanks for letting me open this on your behalf. Oh wow. Three hits. Gar Boater V. Alright, so I feel like we got two uh, two solid hits and then a regular V. Still be on pack part and then we'll wrap up with the Ray Quadra. And if you made it through this video, appreciate it. Litleo. Ah, uh, into a Florgis. Final pack. Got a drowsy. All right, a flapple into a drampa. So very, very solid, uh, solid results for a ETB. So. Thank you, Richard Omega, and that's gonna be it for this video. Um, I'm sure we're gonna have more Brilliant Star breaks in the near future. Thanks for watching, I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch y'all next time, peace.